Hello and welcome to the touchspace.com. I'm Jonathan Martin with a, uh, another premium tutorial for free. Alright, today I'm going to be doing uh, check, check boxes with jQuery. Uh, it's a new thing I learned a few days back because I had absolutely no idea how to do it and I needed it for one of my projects. And basically what it is, is it allows you to select up to five check boxes. If I select all five, the rest got get disabled. If I unselect some of them, choose some of the other ones, they the rest get disabled. Uh it's basic concept and there's probably better ways to do it than I've done it, but it's the way I do it. Um you could do a lot more by using this, I suppose. Uh but it's limited functions that I've done, so yeah. Okay, this is what I got so far. Uh, just included jQuery and I've got some blank script tag and I need to add the inputs in. By the way, I've got a cold so it probably doesn't sound too good. Um, so let's start by creating inputs and then name it sample underscore one and then uh, I'll set the value to one and then the type to checkbox. And also put on change equals to java script and then process and then copy that eight times or so I should do it like that. I don't know how many that was. And then change the value oh god the values accordingly in numbers order. Oh, I've got ten there. And that's basically that done. Um, I'm just going to stick an input there and type is button on click. Whoops, not on the board. On click equals JavaScript uh, count worth and value equals to count count. Yeah, I suppose. Um, and that's basically the HTML done, and we just need to go on to do the uh, JavaScript now. Start off with we're going to create the count function, and it's pretty simple. Let's create a new var called L, and then we use jQuery to find out how many tick boxes have been ticked. Um, this is the identifier that you should use sample 1 because we've called our checkboxes sample 1 and then we also need to add the checked identifier in as well because we want to see how many are checked and then it's quite simple we should type in length and then that's that line done next we want to let that out and say how many have been ticked and then space and then we just add on to that L and that should be pretty well done uh, and then we create a function called process so we don't get any errors from JavaScript and let's try that out select 2 and it works says 2, we select a few more 4 like that, and 5 um, now we need to program the rest of it. We don't really need how many is counting, I just added that in because I used it um, when I was creating my project. Um, so yeah. Alright, now we need to look through each checkbox. Actually no we don't, we do need that length thing actually because we need to tell how many have been ticked. So let's just copy that over there. And if L is more or equals to 5 we do that and then if it isn't then we do that now if it's more than five uh, we need to disable the unticked ones we need to enable 
unticked ones if it's less. So now we need to go through and get all of them. And then we use each to do that. And create a function within each and I call the first parameter i as it's the amount that it's gone through and then d is the actual variable of that single uh, input. And I just call it d because I remember that. Call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. So that's just what I do. And now we need to see whether it's been checked because if it's been checked then we don't want to disable it. So if it isn't checked and we do that by putting an exclamation mark there and then we do d inside of the jQuery and then is function and then within the is bit we put the same as we have up here the identifier to see whether it's been checked and then if it has been checked which if it's within here then it has been checked no, it hasn't been checked even. Then we need to disable it. So we use the same thing as before, the D, and then we use the attribute function, and then we do disabled. And then we set it to disabled. Like that. Now, if we try it out, it should work. Which it does, but problem at the moment is if we start untaking ones it doesn't let us choose any more because we haven't asked it to undo them yet so we're just going to copy this over and it's just easy we just type in the D again and then remove attribute which is remove atra and then put in that disabled like it's fell and that should now work. Refresh. Yeah, it does. Now we've got five there, and count obviously still works. Mm, yeah, it's simple. Uh, yeah. This was my one that I done earlier. I didn't bother with the count thing. Um, but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial and I don't know what Alex is doing at the moment it's just a one-off because I just felt like it and I had nothing better to do so yeah thanks and I'll see you later